The judgment is coming. Well, yes, it is. Believe it or not, whether you have Jesus, or whether you have not accept Jesus, whether you are atheists that don't want Jesus, judgment is coming. Amen. Ready or not, prepare or not, judgment is coming. Amen. I will be coming from Daniel, the seventh chapter. And uh, Daniel, just a little bit about him. He's a Jewish exile in, in the Persian. And uh, Daniel, he had a vision of the future, praise God. And uh, the question I'm going to put out to you today, what is the whole world is called to do? See, the world is called to do something. But how are you going to know what you're called to do if you don't go to church to hear the word of God, Amen. to know who about Jesus? I don't kick anyone from being a political figure because while we're on this earth, we, we need these political figures. Whether they're doing right or wrong, we must pray for those that are in authority. Praise God. But they have to do their job. And we as Christians have to be by our father business. And we as Christians are in the business of winning soul for Jesus. So uh, we do not kick against the president or those in government. But we pray that they will do the right thing. And we pray too that they will acknowledge Jesus Christ. As the Lord is saved. Praise be to God. Amen. And the question I want to put out to you today. What is the whole world is called to do? And I'm going to let you know. Praise God. According to Romans 1, 16 and 17. It says, fear God. Fear God. I wonder how many people fear God today. And give glory. To him. Praise God. Amen. There's many gospels that is going around this world. But there is only one gospel. Praise God. And that's Romans 1, 16, 17. Praise God it will tell you. And that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I want to just give you a little insight about Daniel. Praise God. I just want to read a little bit from my paper. It says... The first announcement came in Edom in Genesis 3.15. Now this is the word of God. It came in the beginning in Genesis 3.15. It was preached to Abraham. And in Galatians 3.8, to the children of Israel, Hebrews the fourth and the twelfth chapter, and it proclaimed anew in every generation. When one generation passed, the word of God is still standing. Amen. That same gospel, that one gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even John the Baptist announced the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I'm talking about this one gospel, which is about Jesus Christ. Amen. Matthew, the third chapter, the first and the second verse, the Lord had prepared the way for the first event in John 1, 22 verse to the 23rd, Christ himself, his preaching of the gospel, announcing the fulfillment of the definite time of prophecy. The 69 week, or something around 483 years of Daniel, which is 925, you can read that, and called the people to repentance. See, God is calling the people to repentance, praise God. In view of the coming of the prediction Messiah. Mark 1 and 14, verse and the 15. So when the time of the judgment comes, the time of the judgment is coming, it's serious. But will you be ready? Are you ready to meet Jesus? A lot of people is dying, but my heart Compassion, the Jesus has compassion go off towards them, my heart go off towards them. Lord, did they accept Jesus? Or were they too busy caring with the things of the world? See, we can get too caught up in what our physically body needs, and we forget about the spiritual need. Because one day this whole physical body is going to die. Yeah. And there will be a soul that will require you that will live on. <laughs> And that soul will have to go somewhere. And the word of God tells me either heaven or hell. Think about it today. Is your soul right with God? 
too busy thinking about all the cares of the world. The fun they having, the lottery winning they having, the poor people just spending their money. Ain't got money for rent, not for food, instead of trusting God. Keep that five or ten dollars and go buy some bread or save it up for the next payment on your rent. Praise God. Judgment day is coming. This is serious. That's right, Lord. And that's why a lot of people don't want to come to church because they stand 